What's going on guys, it's Flame, and today I'm going to be starting a Let's Play on Windward. Now, I've been wanting to do Let's Plays on my channel for quite some time now. The thing that really stopped me was that I didn't really get how I could do Let's Plays, but I have a general idea on how to do them, or how I can do them anyway, and I thought Windward would be a nice easy one to get started into doing Let's Plays with, so that's why I'm going to be just sort of sticking to Windward as a Let's Play for now, until I get into the swing of things, and then I'll move on to doing other games as well. Now, I, I've pretty much been just uploading gameplay of games that I've been playing there and then, and this is this is going to be a big step up for me to actually have a gameplay of a game uploaded consistently. Hopefully you guys like this change. If you do, please drop a like on the videos to show your support and drop a comment as well saying what you'd you'd like to see me sort of do or what I can improve for these let's plays and whatnot as well. It is much, much appreciated. And of course, if you want to carry on watching Let's Plays of these videos, feel free to subscribe as well. It will really, really help me out knowing that I am entertaining you guys. But anyway, Windward, I've been playing, well, I've, I've had this game for a little while, a few months now, and I've contributed some ideas and whatnot, which one actually got added, well, sort of a variant of it. I was actually really chuffed about it. It was um, sort of a, a diving bell feature as such but it was pretty cool the, the developer is amazing he's he's made an awesome awesome game today is actually the launch day as well which is why I thought I'd, I'd start it so anyway let's go into single player here now I have deleted these here the the name and whatnot so I'm gonna start fresh so I'm gonna call myself Captain Pogs now if you're a 90s kid you'll know what Pogs are so um, have, uh, feel free to Google that. Pogs were amazing back in the 90s. Just like, you know, the, the Pokemon cards were and whatnot. Pogs were another sort of collectible, and you, you essentially battled with them, but it was, in a way, it was like a, sort of a gambling game as well. You sort of played for keeps, or you, you know, you'd play for keeps, or you, you know, just, just do friendly games or not, whatnot. But anyway, campaign name. Uh, let's play. So this is going to be a single player one, so create, allow player ships, limited item stats, permanent war if enabled, all factions will always be at war. That sounds cool, <laughs> we'll put that on, we'll keep the challenge and combat damage at default, and we'll hop right in, now, let's see, seed, um, what can we call the seed, I don't know, we'll, We'll be boring and just click random a couple of times. You can actually edit this if you want. But right now, that one looks okay. No, we'll change it a little bit. Um, let's see. I'll click it a few times and then I'll close my eyes and stop at one and then we'll play it. Okay. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll do this one. Now, faction. I am going to be valiant. I like shooting things, I like pew pew and things. So, yeah, let, let's go. Let's go. I haven't actually got that far in this, playing back in the early access, but I I, I know I, I get the gist of things. I get the gist of things. All right, so here we are. I'm invulnerable. I'm awesome. So, Captain, welcome, Captain. All right, so let's see. Click this, see what we can do. Quests is... Ferry passengers to Stenwall. We'll do something nice and easy. There we go. Ahoy, Captain. There happens to be a sizable group of people seeking passage to Stenwall. They are willing to pay their dues. Shall we let them tag along? Get 42 gold, 3 wood, and 5 stone. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Alright, let's go. Okay, so, nice little waypoint here. That'll help us out nicely. Now then. I have to remember how to play. Okay. I think it's I think it's pretty straightforward to be honest. Let's carry on. So hopefully this sort of let's play will will be okay. I'm not expecting it to be, you know, fantastic. Hopefully it'll get a good reception from you guys. As I said, oh hello there. As I said, 
feel free to like the video and drop a comment and tell me what you guys think of you know the sort of whole me doing a let's play series on games instead of just ribs and drabs of whatever games I'm playing now and then. The reason I dumped that was because it was pretty much ahoy! It was ooh. It was just something I had done at the time because for me, I'm getting to that stage in my gaming life where I'm not able to stick to a game for months on end. I will get bored quite quick. I need variety and whatnot. But because I haven't really played Windward that much, I'm hoping that I'll be able to play this for a little bit. In between, you know, the Let's Play, I will have gameplay up of other games that I'm playing too. I just won't have Let's Plays of them just yet. As I said, I want to get into the swing of things. So here we are at Stenwall. Discovered Stenwall. Bing! There we go. Okay. Let's see what Stenwall has. Deliver cargo to Newnbridge. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll carry on. So, at the start, I think Windward is a little bit slow, but after maybe a couple of hours, things start to pick up. You know, you get enough gold to actually get the bigger ships and whatnot, and it's 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 pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. Me and a friend actually were browsing for co-op games that we could try out, and oh, there's some cargo. And he was the one that actually discovered this. I mean, it was it's like. 11 quid? I mean, that's pretty awesome. It is, it is awesome. That's actually quite new. I didn't... That, as I said, it's been a, a little while since I last played this, so there are going to be things that are new to me. So, you'll have to bear with me with that. Okay. A oh, bunch of... Salvage? I think you call it salvage. Now, the little ships there... Those are where sort of the the salvage sort of spawns and pops up from the wreckage. So there you go. I, I, I remember some stuff, unless they've changed it. They might have changed it. I'm not sure. But let's go to New and Brit New New Bin New Bin There we go. Welcome, Captain. Hello. All right. Let's let's hunt down a pirate. Let's get into get into some some combat here now. Where is this pirate? So, before they actually had it, so his, like, the pirate he had to hunt down was actually on the minimap up the top right there, but they have changed. Oh no, there he is there. Holy crap. Broadside! Ah! Yeah, get him. Uh, and again. Yeah. Okay. Wow, it's actually a lot harder than I remember. Hard of borders. Alright, you can do this. You can do this, Captain Pogs. Yeah, Pogs. Pogs were awesome back in the 90s. Seriously. Like, you, you, David Jones it is then, yes. You you have to you have to check out Pogs. Just just Google Pogs. They're not as popular as, you know, the likes of Pokemon trading cards and whatnot, but back in the day they were they were so much fun. They're not really worth a ton of money or anything now. Like, probably Pokemon cards and whatnot are, but back in the day they were awesome. You, you had the Pogs, and those were what people would play to collect, but the real awesome things were Slammers, and they were the things actually you used to... I should probably explain a little bit of how the game is. So, basically, these Pogs are sort of little circular cardboard cutout discs, and they'd have these sort of images. They were pretty much like a caveman. They, they were like a caveman. But they were really popular and I think it was back in Hawaii that's when it uh, first cropped up. They used ball caps and whatnot. But anyway, so the idea was that you you basically wanted to collect as many of these as you can and what you do is you challenge another person that has them and each person, well one person would set in an amount, uh, ooh, I see there, ooh, I crashed, an amount that they'd like to essentially, like, put up for stakes, but, um, each person would, you know, save the plane for, you know, for fun or for keeps, and of course if it's keeps, the ones that get one, 
or the ones that someone wins gets to keep them. So how it works is, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll collect the uh, thing here, we'll fight another pirate, let's go. The way it works is that they they pick how many, say, you know, one person puts in 10, another person would match that 10, and they'd put them all face down, up in a pile, they'll, they'll stack them up. Now the way sort of people play the main game varies. There are some people that would like use the slammer which is this it's some of them can be made of metal sort of um, like some aluminium or whatever and they were pretty, pretty pretty decently thick maybe half an inch thick some of them were and whatnot and they have these cool designs and whatnot. To be honest those there were the ones that you, you were wanting to collect because they looked pretty awesome and how that oh we got a pirate here he's coming in you're interrupting my pog story man I'm talking about pogs it's uh not the best game Ooh, it's not the best game to to play when you're trying to talk about pogs and whatnot but anyway they put them face down and on a in a stack and then what the what they do is each person oh, i'm sorry get out of the way each person would take turns on trying to essentially knock the stack down. Now, as I said, careful with that reef cam, thanks man. As I said, some people would play it different. Some people would use the slammer and they'd physically sort of slam it down on top of the stack. Now, what would obviously happen then is that obviously the stack would you know, flip up and whatnot and any pogs that were facing up, that person got to keep. And any that were facing down were then restacked for the other person to try it. Now, as I said, there were different ways to sort of slam the stack. You know, some people would actually sort of throw it at it, or, you know, they sort of do a weird sort of flicky motion, slammy down motion on the sides and whatnot. All depends on how, how each person played, really. But it was an awesome, awesome game. I remember that back in the. Back when I was a, a young whippersnapper. No, I'm not that old. I hope I'm not that old. I'm 25. That's a quarter of a century old. That's, yeah. When you say it like that, it is pretty old. But anyway, they were awesome. I, I can't even remember if I have them anymore. I'd like to hope so. Maybe they're up in the attic somewhere. It'd be awesome to see them. But ideally, I'd probably want to sell them if they were worth a lot of money. But they're not. So they're just there, if they're there anyway. Anyway, let's carry on. So literally just hunting pirates, talking about pogs. I think that's a good start for uh, my first Let's Play. First episode of this Let's Play of Windward. I've done a Let's Play before of Minecraft, but I played Minecraft back when it was an alpha. So it did get quite boring after a while. And I, of course, got bored of playing it for the Let's Play and I just stopped. But it didn't seem like many people were interested in it at the time anyway, because that's back when Minecraft was, you know, really, really popular still. And, you know, I think people maybe got sick of seeing it. They were like, oh, great, another Minecraft, let's be. <laughs> Alright, so, oh yeah, I'm hunting down the pirate, let's go. I don't know why I'm stopping it there. So, idea is that I want to sort of, the, the starting zone is a safe zone. You, you don't get attacked or anything like that. But the next zone, the next instance, collect the cargo, collect the salvage, hey John. Okay, so the next sort of instant, that's that's when I'll be able to sort of capture the towns and whatnot. This here's just sort of you getting used to the whole thing. But all these fights are ah. Neighbor town is captured. Okay, that's new. That's quite new. Okay. What was that? Oh yeah, well, you know, pre pretty much as I said, you know, the game will get a bit more interesting. A couple of, you know, hours down the line and whatnot. Hopefully you guys stick around to see that. Capture zero. Alright, let's repair. Hopefully this, this will get a good reception, to be honest. As I said, it is quite a big change for me. Reach lane. It is a big change for me and, and the channel, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it, will enjoy this change, really. I mean, as I said, it, it can lead to, to other Let's Plays of other games, too. 
Oh, it depends. Oh, it depends. Well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll try it more regardless anyway. Because I want consistent uploads. I mean, it's, it's not really... I can't see it being that entertaining for you guys when whenever you see one game you're like, oh, yeah, this sort of gameplay, and then, um, oh, wow. <coughs> see your size, she said, diamond, she said. Ooh. So, you'll, you'll see this game one day, and then, the, you know, a couple of days down the line, and all of a sudden it's a different game, you, you probably kind of think, well, huh, this isn't why I'm, I'm watching you, I want to see such and such. So hopefully doing this here, I'll have, could say, oh, oh no, you're friendly. Hopefully, this will, yeah, I, I don't know, it's, as I said, it's a big change, oh, hello. It is a big change, and I'm hoping it's, it's a change for the better. Hopefully, he is in V. Fire! No, I don't want to bribe, just shoot him. Ah, ooh. that was close. Water hole, yes, yes indeed. All right, let's repair up. Well, we'll repair up after we capture Lean, because we need to be in control of the town before we're actually able to get repaired. Whoa, gunmetal cannons! Ooh, look at that. More accuracy, critical, less damage. Eee. Um, some is fifty-six, seven hull, and thirteen piercing. Six range. Well, we'll test them out. We'll test them out. Equip. Alrighty. Now, what I want to do is I will want to actually sort of build up one of these towns. Get get the level of the. That's right, I forgot I had that sealed letter. We got a couple of them now. Fancy chest. So, right click and we'll salvage that. Get some logs. Now, let's examine this. According to this requisition order, one of the merchants in Newman Ridge seems to be in dire need of some salt. But seems to be short on gold. Curiously enough, he is willing to offer a trade. Would this be an interesting yes, Captain? Maybe. That's a nice wood hull. Obviously, I don't know where we can get salt. That's a thing I wasn't sure about. What well, happened seems to be the address of the governor of Lane. Maybe someone does it. Except. Hello? You can now continue your investigation. Okay. Um, track. Advance the quest. There we go. Interestingly enough, there is someone that may know what we are after. He's a merchant that passed recently on his way to John View. It's not much, but it's certainly better than nothing. Already? We'll get oh no, I can't. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of that for now, because I only have the two cargo spaces right now. What I will do is I will... Should I salt? Yeah, I'll just salvage the cannon. Why not? Why not? What can I do? What can I do? Yeah, we'll, we'll go to John View. We'll see what this this quest is all about. I think they've they've increased the the drop amount for the the sealed letters, which is nice. It is pretty nice. Hopefully, there are other things that will surprise us. It's too far. Yeah, stuff. Okay. What I think I might do is I might finish this quest and end it for this episode. I want to keep these episodes maybe 20-25 minutes. So I'll do... I don't know, it seems like a good number, 20-25 to 25 minutes. I can't, I can't actually render anything above 30 minutes anyway, so... Yay, Windows Movie Maker! Woo! We have to start somewhere, guys. We have to start somewhere. I'm starting with Windows Movie Maker. It's awesome. So unfortunately we're sailing against the wind. So it's taken a really long time. It sucks. But it's cute. Where is John V anyway? Is it over here? Oh, almost crashed. There's more cargo or salvage. 
Eh, go. Just thinking there, I've been having some problems with using shadow play. Now, if you remember, or some of you might remember, I was having more, another sealed lair? Holy shit. I was having trouble with the audio, mainly from the microphone. Now, it turns out that it is Shadowplay's fault. Shadowplay doesn't like it. I, I tried recording with Fraps and the audio and was fine. I'm currently using Audacity to record instead of just doing the, the in-game sound for, for Shadowplay and whatnot. The main reason I like Shadowplay is the fact that the whole Shadowplay feature, you, you press land ho, nope, sails ho, yeah. So you press one button and it records, you know, the past couple of minutes, five minutes, whatever, gameplay. So it's cool for capturing all those moments, which is why I like Shadowplay. That and there's no performance impact, really. It's it's awesome quality, small file sizes, etc. So it's pretty cool. Oh, oh, watch out. So I'm a bit bummed out that they, they have that there. That there is you. Other than that, it's amazing. Split audio tracks would be quite cool as well, but I'd say that I can't really do much with split audio tracks. Oh, excuse me. I can't really do much with split audio tracks anyway, because I didn't reach one of them All right, so advance the questuses. Opened letter after much dancing, several sword fights in a local tavern, followed by an escape from prison, a lead emerged. Pirate Henbermis has recently located and salvaged something of great value and witness and was witness bragging about it to everyone willing to listen if what people saying is true whatever you might find more worth yeah it sounds good i like that i like that idea let's go kick this pirate's ass kick his ass okay now then we'll carry on around here kick the pirate's ass then we'll, we'll end the episode thus far. I might as well tell you the, the idea I've got for doing these Let's Plays. I've, I've heard a few people basically recording in bulk and then they're, they're doing it that way, which I think is going to be a really, really good way for me to start off with. And as I said, it, it may lead to some a couple of let's plays being played through, you know, during the week, you never know, you never know, if I get the swing of things, you never know, you never know. Thing is, I don't really know what I could do let's plays of. As I said, Windward seemed like an, an easy choice, really, to do a let's play of. So that's me cousin, okay. Oh, look who it is, look who it is, get him. Okay. Hey, you. That's not nice. Ah, uh, full broadside. Yeah. Are you going to just take that, lads? Yeah, you are. You're just going to take it. There we go. Shackles and tar. Yes, yes indeed. So collect his cargo. Boop. Deliver cargo to... Uh, defeat him. Burn this. I have done, sir. I have done. What now? Oh, ow. Hmm. Let's see. Advance the quest. There we go. In exchange for sparing his life, the captain here agreed to tell you what he knows, which turned out to be almost nothing. <sighs> If certain rumours are to be believed, a fully loaded galleon was caught in a fierce storm and sunk not far from here with all that wealth. Just sitting there at the bottom of the ocean, an enterprising individual such as yourself may want to investigate. Yes, yes I will. But where? Where is it? Where? Where is this? This shipwreck? Quest wreck? Hmm. Oh, we found it. Okay. Well then, that was... That was easy. Advance the quest. Oh, wow! Recovered cotton seals. Well, hello. That is awesome. Oh, I must talk in the shit. Okay. Let's talk in the town, please. Okay. We'll go to the, the, the town, please. It's too far. It's too far. Yes, I know it's too far. Alright, where's this town we're going to? 
Yerborporort. Yeah. That's something I'm going to have to do. Back when I was playing in the, the early access, I basically made like a home town and I renamed it and stuff. It's quite cool. Okay, so let's get this lovely thing equipped. Look at that. It's awesome. Equip. Conceals. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of the Let's Play of Windward. I hope you will join me again for the next episode. As I said, these will be uploaded consistently, so hopefully one a day. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.